Kieran, a, a big uh, a big occasion for Tony Abbott just a few days ago to to get his message across and of course impress the voters. Nina, it's test after test, really, in the final days of the campaign. Just four days remaining. Today, it's the National Press Club. We're expecting some, well, at least a People's Forum tomorrow night, possibly an economic debate as well. That uh, uh, continues the, that stoush between the two parties. Exactly what that format will be. Our political reporter David Lipson is at the National Press Club in Canberra. David, I suppose much of the focus today will be on the economic plan outli outlined by Tony Abbott, the bonuses for the unemployed, subsidies for business to get long-term unemployed back into work and also those infrastructure bonds. Gives him something to work with this afternoon, doesn't it? It certainly does, and Julia Gillard has been trying to get the focus onto the economy for this final week. It looks like Tony Abbott is happy to, to do that as well. He announced this economic plan only about an hour ago, which was an interesting move to hold a news conference then, and then now to face uh, another grilling before the Canberra Press Gallery. Uh, so uh, as for what he's announced this morning, it's essentially uh, in terms of David, the I should point out, you've got, a, uh, you've got one of the climate elephants just behind you. I've got a friend. The elephant in the room is there has joined, joined me on the cross. There were a few of these, these guys uh, who uh, had uh, actually uh, gathered out the front of the press club here a, a moment ago. They were making a lot more noise and there were a lot more of them just about 10 minutes ago, but uh, they were all sort of screaming out uh, abuse at Tony Abbott, if you like. Uh, we've seen this, uh, this sort of costume right around the country. It's been following, well, both Tony Abbott and Julia Gillard around ambush ambushing them at uh, various conferences. And we've got some live uh, pictures there the now of Tony Abbott in the National Press Club as well. David, it is a big day for him, isn't it? It's one of several in the final countdown to, uh, to Saturday. It is, and it's important because it's not only an extended grilling here at the hands of the press club, uh, but it's also a grilling by the much more experienced, or many of the more experienced journalists who have, uh, many of them have stayed here in Canberra. Uh, sometimes they've made forays out onto the campaign trail, but a lot of them have stayed here in Canberra. They're certainly all here today. Uh, so for Tony Abbott, it's another big test for him. Uh, he's, uh, he's having many tests, thick and fast, in this last uh, week of the campaign, as is George. Julia Gillard, and uh, he'll want to come through this unscathed, uh, and he'll want to have answers to all of the questions, many of them, as you say, on the economy. He may be pressed somewhat on exactly yeah. what he's prepared to David, do in this the, debate the, tomorrow night as well. <laughs> Just have another look behind you, Dumbo. He seems to be doing some... <laughs> He's, yeah, he's obviously, he must be an aerobics <laughs> instructor because he's doing some star it? jumps. He's doing some star jumps as well, some real gymnastics. <laughs> Look at him. Here he is. <laughs> now. He's, he's in. He's in now. How are you, How are you mate? I'm very well, thank you. What, uh, what exactly are you pushing here? Obviously, climate change is a big issue. Yeah, well, climate change is going to have a huge effect on young Australians in the future. So we're here from the Australian Youth Climate Coalition to tell Tony Abbott that his climate policies are not good enough. He set a 5% reduction target for his policy. But in fact, if that was to go ahead, um, Climate Institute analysis has actually shown that em uh, emissions um, from Australia, pollution from Australia, would increase by 8%. Okay, David, so unfortunately, we're going to have to take it off. Thank you, mate. We're going to have to switch from Discovery <laughs> Channel to, uh, to Sky News and, and get to the National Press Club. Uh, he's done well, that, that guy. They've, they've been at every event, uh, the elephant in the room, the climate change elephant. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, I've seen it all now. Good on you, David Lipson. Thanks for that. Well handled, <laughs> despite your uh, big, uh, big-eared friend. Um, let's uh, let's now prepare to take you to the National Press Club. I'm sure it'll be a bit more subdued inside the walls of the NPC. Let's go there now.